Shamai Friendi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin if anyone who's new here and let's get back into tiny living. And if you're watching this when it is released, I took a little break last week so I am back. Things are looking a little bit better but it's still not completely perfect but hey when when is life perfect? <laughs> but how perfect does this snow look? It is absolutely beautiful. So let's get out. Oh, oh Brody. <laughs> He's not happy uh, in this house at all. He just had a snack and now he feels gross. So I was going to get him to watch TV, but maybe I'll get him to take a little uh, shower to make him feel a bit better. And then have a little sit and maybe a play of a game. I know games do make me feel better. <laughs> I have played a little bit off camera, which is kind of like fun in a way because I didn't have to talk to anyone while I was doing it. I just sat chilling. Let's just say Brody's nausea is uh, nerves and like a little bit of cold feet because today Popsy and Brody are getting married. <laughs> yes, so this is why we're getting this done before Eco Living comes out. I am still refusing to call it Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> it don't look right. So here we go. There's all the plants done. Oh, Robo Key. You're so cute. And a little nap by the plants. So this is the like only thing she can wear for her wedding unfortunately is her servo gear <laughs> but I think it's 10 a.m now I think they should go and visit the wedding venue and prep everything ready for their big day and then they can invite all their friends over right so I kind of want to keep us all in suspense about the wedding venue so Brody's upstairs and he is going to uh, make himself a wedding cake basically <laughs> oh and i think she's dirty oh no is she dirty she just brought us a wedding gift oh pause come here i'm treating you neat i think you're dirty yeah you got dirty naughty puppy right i'm just just trying to figure out what your cake i want um Brody's just doing a teeny bit of gourmet cooking. I am going to cheat that for now. It's okay. I can always cheat it back down. <laughs> but we need a gourmet cooking skill for the tiered cake that I wanted. The, yeah, either that one or that one. But I think that one's way more popped in Brody. The sweaty, sweaty one. I always forget, like why is everything in separate menus? Well there you go. What did we get off Robokey? It's so fluffy. What's so fluffy? Oh it's a unicorn! <laughs> I love it! So cute! Right. Oh it's like that Minions thing isn't it? Yeah. And Popdy's just checking in with the event coordinator checking to see everything is okay before they start their big day I guess and she's like oh yeah everything's great I'm gonna be sticking around I'm gonna help you get some drinks and stuff when we start yes he's finished the cake oh and it's so cute so he's going to put a wedding topper on that now so no one eats it oh I've never really uh, paid attention to the wedding topper but this is really cute oh it's kind of pixelated, but it's like two love hearts. It's really nice. It's like gender neutral and stuff. That's why I've kind of thought of this new intro. If you kind of noticed that I changed the intro a little bit. I was trying to think of something that is like gender neutral. <laughs> and Frindy Eye is just friends in Welsh and Shamai is at all. <laughs> so it's just hello friends and I thought it'd be nice to tie it into how bloody Welsh I am. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you noticed it or like it. <laughs> right so let's start this wedding off then. So I'm gonna get Popty to plan it because she knows more people and I have an edgy nose. 
Let's plan the social event. We're gonna be uh, doing it at Dead Grass Discoveries, a newly converted museum to a wedding venue. So I'll show you the outside first. So this is by the lighthouse. I thought this would be like a really cute wedding venue, like a lighthouse wedding venue. And they have converted this into a modern wedding venue. So you've seen the new kitchen that I popped upstairs, which used to be an office. So this is the kitchen that I changed from an office. Still got the old bathrooms. So I didn't want to fancy out with them ones. And then the, the new entrance is back here. And this is where Popty was. So this is like the bar and photography studio. So this would be really nice for, for photos afterwards. It's a pity Popty couldn't wear a wedding dress, but never mind. And then they've got like a party karaoke, of course, in here. And you can kind of see my theme. And yes, we're going to go for a winter theme. So I've got like a nice blue tree by here. And this is the, oh wow, this is where they're going to get married. So yeah, these are perfect for wedding chairs, aren't they? And then we've got more wintry hints and the top table for Brody and Popty, some wedding cards and some wedding presents and then like places for everyone to sit and eat cake I guess and I put snow globes on the tables to sort of hint at the snowy theme and then I thought this was like a nice like Instagrammy wall take pictures by you for like winteriness for the guests and then obviously they can have pictures out here so this is a wedding venue but the groom's let his hair down he did have that like top knot but he's let it down for his uh wedding which i think looks really nice and we went for white with him because we're not going to be seeing a wedding dress so i thought i'd put him in a white jacket so we have alicia and ira here as the bridesmaids and they've yeah, both got proud. like matching blue outfits on. And Ira's got a gorgeous wig to match the blue theme on, which is absolutely gorgeous. I think they look so cute in these outfits. I didn't want them to wear too much white because obviously Popty can't wear any of that. So let's sit together over here. Oh, we've got Brant or Brant. I did do a little thing to remember which one this one was but I'm never going to remember now that's Brent Brent is in a blue jacket I went for blue with everything basically and Saren's in a blue dress and Gwen's in a blue dress do you see my theme now <laughs> right it's probably taken a good few hours but I have all my guests here now I think so we've got our robot friend Tara, Gwen, I think I'm missing Alicia's cousin maybe and then there is Emma Goodwin as well so everyone's in blue for the wedding and everyone's like talking to each other and being nice to each other and I'm trying to get them all to sit together by making the two sims who have got two different groups sit and that'll hopefully force sims to sit but that's not really happening is it <laughs> so we can get started now let's get married we got everyone to sit and before anyone leaves even though we've got Brody in sat down with them maybe we can get like a few guest photos <laughs> why do why does Ira look so sad? Ira, your namesake is everywhere today. It's probably why she's sad. Ira means snow, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so we got some guests on this side. Ira looks really sad. And then we got like three guests on this side. Very cute. We got some people in. Oh. I'm not even going to turn around. We seen they were sat there. Let's just hope for the best. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, and the ring's on. Yay! They got married. Yay! Oh, and the fireworks has got set off. Did you see that in the background then? The fireworks have been set off. Yay! How oh, amazing. Let's go see them. So there's the fireworks being set off as well. <laughs> they just got married. There they are. Oh, so cute. And the lighthouse in the background. <laughs> I love it. I did not realize they would be set off as soon as they got married. That is so cute. It's like kind of evening time, but because it's snowing, uh, you can't really tell. But oh, this is amazing! I love how everyone's been so nice to each other as well. This is so cute, and the snow in the background. Such a gorgeous wedding. Okay, Brody, you come over too. Because I distinctly remember from my last wedding I did that they don't actually cut the cake together. But Popty doesn't eat, so I'm gonna get him to cut the cake. So let's cut the cake. And that was it. That was it. Oh, is he going to feed her the cake? Oh, no way. It actually worked. <laughs> Yay. They fed each other cake. Oh, Pop T, call everyone to have some some wedding cake and you sit at the other head of the table look at Brody he's like I know this is the head of the table so everyone can have some wedding cake now for for like their dinner I guess and they're probably not gonna sit at the tables because that's just no sims is it but there you go oh look and we made enough for everyone oh people are sat talking yay yes it's just randomers coming in now. At least we kept the party closed for the wedding. And now we're just letting people party if they want to party. And what is this on? Let's change the station. What's like a fun wedding retro? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we want to be dancing the Macarena and... Sitting on the floor dancing, oops upside your head, doing the tap tap thing. Is that a British thing? It probably is. I'm sure it is because people were absolutely baffled that we sit down on the floor for oops upside your head. But there you go. We do. All in a line. <laughs> so Ira's hiding in the bathroom so Brody's gonna go check on her because Ira's like uh, his best lady, best woman, whatever you want to call her. So Brody's just gonna chat to her for a bit. So I was just saying like obviously she doesn't really enjoy being around loads and loads of people but his wedding's beautiful don't get me wrong it's just she's just not really comfortable with lots of people and she's just saying how stressed she is that she's got to go to go research for this upcoming book that she's got but she has no way of getting to this town and um, Brody's like well you know I've got a flying house obviously I can take you and I was like are you sure like you you just got married and he's saying like as long as you can sort out your own like living situation once we get to this town um I'm sure me and Popty will be fine like we've got our tiny flying home um and just maybe you could get like an apartment somewhere well um but i'll definitely get you there and we can sort things out so brody's gonna say like oh you come live with us for the time being and we'll all go together emma's checking in as well oh emma goodwin's such a cute character i love you so much <laughs> um so yeah i was gonna move in with us for a little bit and she's we're gonna help her travel to a new town to research for a dystopian novel you kind of guess what's going on with this they move into the new ego lifestyle town together <laughs> 
So we're going to do this and we're going to add her to the family and oh god the wedding's complete. How? We haven't even taken photos yet. Oh no. Oh Poppy's so happy being married. Oh you can see the wooden floor. That's kind of disappointing. Oh so cute. Oh no. Brody's a genius but he's not a musical genius. <laughs> But he's joining in something Poppy really enjoys doing, so why not? <laughs> it's something Poppy really loves, so of course Brody will have fun doing it with her. He really doesn't seem to mind that he's not the greatest karaoke singer. <laughs> So they're just gonna find the night away now, aren't they? Oh, karaoke's done. Pop D, when you have a dance. Oh, we've still got Brant and Brent having a dance, and Gwen. <laughs> Nailed it from singing karaoke poorly. Some people just don't understand the raw talent <laughs> when they see it. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Saren. So here we go, everyone's having a little dance, the like musical notes are kind of being a bit annoying, but everyone's having a dance, having a party, uh, to like finish off the night. Oh this is so cute, some people have had to leave, I love how Saren's still the party animal. She's like the oldest sim here and she's like, heck yes, I'm still dancing. <laughs> Come on Saren, she's been on karaoke everything. <laughs> ah, bloody love it. And Tara's broken down. broken down. Everyone in my my wedding party is gonna have their che <laughs> needs cheated for this, I think. So I think they've had a great time. It's 6 a.m. But they're missing one thing that they haven't done yet. So they're up on the lighthouse. <laughs> so it is actually nearing <laughs> uh, well it's it's pretty much the next day it's starting to get light out and everything uh, but they're having a lovely time and Iris just setting off the fireworks for them as well so I'm gonna end it here. I know we've only had the wedding, but the wedding was kind of hectic, wasn't it? And we've kind of neared our way into eco lifestyle, eco living, whatever we were gonna call it. So I'm gonna end this off here and we shall see these characters next week in a totally new world. I hope you have enjoyed this tiny learning into tiny living let's play. Um, I definitely have, I think this is like the most relaxed let's play I've done so far and I think I might just continue with the chilled sort of we'll get there when we get there vibe with eco lifestyle. So. There we go! So if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video, when I upload the new Let's Play coming next Tuesday and we'll probably have like a little introductory video looking through all the Create Sim assets on Saturday. So look forward to that. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and... Um, <laughs> What am I doing? I've had a week off. I don't even know my outro anymore. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye!